All right, so today's video, we don't really have a debut, but I've had Kyle Hamilton on the team, but I haven't been using him as a user. So we're actually going to use him as a user today. Because of that, I've changed AP a little bit. <laughs> X factors have changed a little bit. I don't expect this to be the team I'm going to rock with you know or or the setup but i'm just curious and we're gonna try it out three games to get in the playoffs so we're gonna play those three games today and let's see what happens we're fine we're fine wait what is Bo? he's got to adjust to double post here right is he not gonna adjust is he not going to adjust to double post not stop it we should score here there we go there we go like, I'm just, I'm just, I'm just confused how he's running a bunch of set. He's literally running double post. So I'm just surprised he couldn't, he just didn't stop it at all. Like there was no adjustment at all. Like no man up, no nothing. You know, like it's different if you're trying different things and it's just not working out, but to just not adjust to it at all. Ah, I, I just, I like Bo Jackson as our user so much, dude. I feel like I move way faster with Bo Jackson than anybody else. Like even using Kyle Hamilton right here, just right off the bat, I'm like, we move so much faster with Bo Jackson. Maybe a minute into this video and I'm already like, yep, Bo Jackson's just better as a user for sure. And it's just, it's it's not, it's not even close. Little double post there. Nice, 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 nice. I didn't deep half it, no, nice. Is this dig return? No, this was spacing switch. Yeah, not a chance, not happening. Okay, there we go. I mean, he was trying to play man coverage, at least there. But that one was just, that was just straight man. Yeah, I don't, he's not going to be able to run double post on us. Now he may run the ball. He may be able to throw it to flats. I'm not saying that, but the double post route's getting locked up. I'm, I'm tired of it. All right, I'm using Isaiah Simmons here. Yep, and absolutely just boxed, just locked up. Oh, that was, oh, that, that was, that was a crazy pass. Uh, yeah, absolute box. There you go. Double pose did not work. I mean, he was getting bumped like crazy and still got that. That's so unfortunate. I was bumping him like crazy with Kyle Hamilton. I just couldn't get out. This is like simple adjustments here too. This ain't even anything special. We're not doing anything special, man. And really, I'm just showing this for the people who are like, yo, double post or whatever. Like, it's so cheesy. Like, don't get me wrong. Double post is really, really good. Okay. But if I'm just only running double post and you can't stop it, like that's on you. That's on you. That has nothing to do with EA or the game. Like you just, you, you're just not adjusting. When double post is mixed in to good offenses and whatnot, of course it can be very, very tough to stop. I'm not saying it's like, how do I say this? How do I say this? How do I say this? I'm not saying it's easy to stop, but there's a lot of people out there who are saying they can't stop double post and just run the same cover three defense over and over and over again and just get torched by it. And then they're surprised or like you're just trying to run man like man's not going to work like you did. You you got a knock out there. That was all right. Like, like, I don't even know if this guy's complaining about it at all. I might, I might go on another rant right here. It's it's about these YouTube plays. Like, the people who complain about YouTube plays, like, they just don't understand. Like, brother, like, just make simple adjustments. Like, you're not even trying to adjust. Because look, he called double post. He called double post. And look at it, man. Like, it's just, it's just not open. Thank you, Isaiah Simmons. You know what sucks is I'm, I'm not even using Kyle, Kyle Hamilton this game when I said I was going to, but it's just better if I use Isaiah Simmons for that game. Uh, hopefully we can use our Kyle Hamilton next year. And I guess I'm bringing this up because I was watching one of my boys play on Discord and the guy that he was playing against was like, oh, you just got YouTube plays. You just run the meta. This last guy beat me. And then he's getting all mad and like, he's like, oh, you know, you're such a uh, words I can't say on YouTube for running those plays. He was only sending two D linemen. I'm like, that's not the, uh, that's not the defense at all this year and i get it with ebooks coming out with just all the information that you can get for free now on youtube like basically just the casual player they're not necessarily better on the sticks or football knowledge but now they have plays like basically if you get two guys who don't know how to stop double post all you have to do is call double post versus you know in the past that guy might not, not even have known about double post right because of you know things on youtube and so maybe he was just more gonna run other shotgun formation that was just easier to stop right 
Yeah, I was trying to play. Oh, sauce, big tackle. This is RPO defense as well. That's just straight RPO defense. Give me the first or give me the ball, not the first down. Sorry, not not so much what upsets me, but where I'm like, OK, yeah, I kind of need to, you know, go on my my little rants when I talk about it. It's more like if you can't stop something, it's not the person's fault for running the ball like that is completely on you, man. A lot of people will say just just in general, like this happens where they'll be like, ah, if you didn't, you know, if you weren't running that, I would have beat you or you weren't doing this. And it's like, OK, yeah, but they were we accept defeat for that it is what it is like yeah you're probably right if that guy that didn't have double post like like let's say you weren't running double post someone else was running double post you only lost by seven and you're like listen that guy was making bad reads he's really not that you're not that dope you're not that nice also it, i mean and there's also a difference between there is just like madden trash talk and gaming trash talk where like everybody says everybody's just trash that's just what happens like there's a difference between it's just madden trash talk as gamers we're all we're, we're all basically a little bit hypocrites right because we're all like like, oh, this dude's trash, but then I'm doing something where someone else is going to think I'm trash. Last night, the game I was watching, the dude was complaining, and then he was running angry runs in Vanguard, and he's like, I made my own scheme up. He didn't come up with anything just a massive on your own, and he was running trips. Like, you're not, you're not, you know, you're not out here just like... When people talk about getting rid of abilities, it's really, really tough for me because it's like, so what are we going to do? Because if we get rid of set feet lead, does that mean everybody gets set feet lead? We get rid of hot route masters. Does that mean everybody just gets all the the hot route, you know, hot route masters? We get rid of conductors. Does that mean now just making adjustments is just going to be a little bit faster in general because there's no conductor? It's just, it, it, to, to me, it's a little tough. Like, does every quarterback now just get gunslinger? Because if the game didn't have abilities, it's awful you try and play this game without gunslinger like abilities are just gonna kill you even even if the other team doesn't have any ko's you're just you're not gonna be able to throw the ball in certain places it's gonna get picked off because it's just floating Do you want a game where it's a mix where it's not as good as um set feet lead and you know the and your throwing animations aren't as fast as if you would have gunslinger but they're obviously faster without it so it's like a middle middle ground. Maybe that's the case. I'm just run committing and I'm playing, trying to play the RPO here. Nah, he got in, right? Should we tone down zone KOs? We're like, hey, maybe if I run deep elite, maybe it's not a KO every time. And then it kind of ends up being like a game where it's like, like you don't have abilities again because they kind of, you know, even each other out sure should we get rid of the light up x factors i totally understand that get rid of angry runs freight train right the light up x factors to me that makes sense maybe it's not completely no abilities right but it's like we can take out some of the crazy abilities that makes sense to me get rid of unstoppable force light up the entire game sure that makes sense to me i it, it can it can definitely lead to a potential slipper slippery slope I also don't know exactly what these people are arguing for when they say they don't want abilities, right? I don't know. I don't really have any cards to talk about. Like Kyle Hamilton's good. He's not going to be my user. I still really like Bo Jackson as my user, and I'm just going to keep Bo Jackson as my user, man. He just, Bo Jackson just feels for some reason like Kyle Hamilton just, I just feel like he's not moving as fast as Bo Jackson, and I don't get it. You know? Oof. Good catch. He just threw a pick to Brown. Thank you definitely just gave that to us yep he's not blitzing anybody this is why threat detector's so stupid right it's just it's just a straight cheat code there we go let's go the touchdown i think he's out of here yes sir all right we're gonna play our last game here we go boys bucks have just reached an agreement which means now i have to get a bucks jersey with Baker Mayfield, three years, $100 million. If you guys don't know, Baker Mayfield is my favorite player in the NFL right now. I even liked him at Oklahoma. And I actually watched uh, probably... Oh, there we go, Charles Woodson. Um, A lot of, you know... I actually watched a lot more college football back then, especially when, you know, when Baker was playing. There's a little, little thing right there. That's, that's Baker Mayfield, so that's the first thing. As you can see, another little... I, I buy a lot of like NBA stuff because we do have Halliburton Pacers and we also have Halliburton Kings because I got that his rookie year. So I tend to wait now more and see like, OK, I need them to sign a deal. So they're at least there for a little bit. Another one of Baker when he went to Carolina. But I'm like, he's probably not going to stay in Carolina. Right. And then Rams. I'm like, well, he's definitely not. Oh, Warren Sapp already gets an interception. OK, there we go. This game might go really fast. 
Oh my goodness, we just made him fumble. Oh, he's definitely got to be upset about that. I think actually Kyle Hamilton forced that. Yeah, Kyle Hamilton did force the fumble right there. There we go, man. Kyle Hamilton finally doing something. No offense, Kyle. I really like him as our safety, but the user, nah. Nah, nah. What? Thank you, Bo. Come on. Just get out. Yep. Just, just get out. Just get out. Let's go. Oh, okay, well. Yeah. I mean, he was he was cooking. Oh, Kyle Hamilton. Dang it. And he's out of here. There we go. So that was three games. That was pretty quick, boys. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.